Ang sakit talaga yung poke galing sa Karma at si Kaiza. So, what can Anami do? Nami can do so much. I mean, look at Anami already. The playing the mana, but looks like Sengakai coming towards the top lane. Cyclone for the knockout plus. They got me shot there. Calls the board shot. Happening here. Docks up three members. Calls up. Kasama yung clone, but in the end. Rox will be the one to wrap it up and take the kill. Yan na ulit na naman yung gang sa top lane. And from that earlier gang, parehas na naman yung nangyari. Trinay mo lalo na makatakas with the Eve of the Orc. Kaso na-cancel na naman nung knock-up na yung evil ni Rox or ni evil. So once again, isa na namang napakagandang gang dun sa top lane. And now we're seeing BE, seeing the members of Orc invested in the top lane. This is going to be Venus going for the go signal. Went for another invade. Let's look at the gold lead here. Look at the CS lead for the jungle. Yeah, pero kahit tinignan natin yung gold, hindi ganun kalaki yung deficit ni Landong compared kay Evelis. Yung malaking pagkakaiba sa gold dito ay nandun talaga sa bot lane. Liar is up 1,000 1, gold over Zentra's Ezreal, meaning that he's up at least one and a half items over oh. that Ezreal, but all in mid lane. Look at Trevor, win morning away the stun. The Vanguard's Edge won't connect as Trevor timed that flash really well. Ignites onto him. We're seeing the Nuna from the side here. It does get spotted out by Rox. Signals Trevor to be a bit more careful. Alam mo, feeling ko kaya ng patay ni Emperor si Trevor dun eh. Nagtataka ako bakit siya nag-hesitate. Namarkahan na ng Vanguard sa Edge Yasuo. So, kapag nag-dash si Emperor dun, magre-reset na naman. And I think he would have had enough damage with the burst from the Sheen. And he could have easily flashed away para ma-dodge yung knock-up na meron si Trevor dun. So, I'm wondering why he hesitated. This is quite a big battle for our Angel because... You mistake kanina dun sa early phase na game. Si Zencho at si Ghost went really, really aggressive. And now they're at the risk of giving the first turret towards BE. Not only if Flyers 3-0, but that just got Rox really wants them to cage. Oh, he could not use the last spell. He was stunned by the blaze of Irelia. Under tower, here he comes. That's gonna be the last deal. He's about going in. We're going in there. That's what you know. Substance zero. That's gonna be the air driver. That's gonna take it down by Emperor. Two shot barrage. Ignite is taking. Will he be taken down? Yes, it will. That is going to be the wrap up in the mid lane. Flash in at Cyclone. Gonna be the killing blow for the Irelia. Emperor is down. Ivalis picks it up. Yes, sacking through shot barrage is edge. Para magpatay ng ignite ni Trevor yung nuno ni Venus. So in the end, I think that's two for one in favor of Archangel. Masaya sila nakuha nila yung kill onto Emperor doon. He was fairly pushed up in lane. So maganda na na-punish nila yung aggression ni Emperor in the mid lane. Mm -hmm. So winner, gotta say man, when that fight happened, it was so extended. But for Archangel, they, have, they can do it because they have the Wolfram. They have to Zack to quickly re-engage the fight. But as I can see, Trevor could not use the last breath the first time. Maganda nga nung timing ng stun eh, ni Emperor dun para hindi niya ma last breath kaya. It bought enough time para umabot si Venus dun for that counter. At least matrade nila yung kill na nangyari. And ito nga binabanggit natin, Volcan, di ba? Pag nag-level 6 na itong Archangel, sisimulan na nilang magharap na lawal. Nakikita na gano'ng karami yung knock na available. Sobrang daming paraan para simulan yung laban with those initiations, with the last breath from the Yasuo. Just so much damage. Galing sa Archangel. It is so easy for Archangel to lock down a fight. Not only dun sa last breath, galing kay Trevor, meron tidal wave, galing kay Nami, not to mention yung true shot barrage. So, you see that CC pilot, and that is a dead shot, dead skill shot. 100% gonna land if Archangel times it correctly. So, BE, not, despite having a lot of damage, despite having a lot of items, you can't really move or, or use it if you're locked down by a lot of hard CC. Yeah, and looking back, I think we missed it. Nakuha ng bar si Esports ito yung unang tower of the game in that bot lane. And ngayon, maa-unlock na si Shana at si Lara. Magsisimula na silang gumalaw dito sa mapa. Tingnan mo, they're taking neutral objectives. Kanina nakita natin, Cloud Drink nakuha nila. Ngayon, Drift Herald naman. Itatry nilang palaguin palalo yung lead na hawak na nila. Okay, and near the 12 minute mark, your Rift Herald is in the hands. Oh, wow. B.E. but Archangel. Just going for that guy. I mean, the free knockup from the Zack is what they need. Not to mention the Aqua Prison serves as a knockup. So just the point and click, and that's a free last breath there. Looks like with Emperor down. We see Archangel, four members strong in the mid lane. Alam mo gusto ko tong ginagawa ng Archangel. Kinakamp nila yung Yasuo lane. Gusto nila lumamang si Trevor on this pick. Para naman mag-aaya sa mga Yasuo na nakakalaban natin. Palagi nilang silang nakamp. Palagi silang lamang. Mm -hmm. Pero kailangan pa nilang palakihin yung lead dito because I don't think it's enough 
yung ginagawa. They need to find more. Kung gusto talaga nilang kunin pabalik, yung control nilang game na to. And that would be their condition to win this game. Not only that they're putting Trevor on a roll here, but also shutting down Emperor. I mean, if Narela does snowball, yikes. Nakakatakot yun. Yikes. Wala na yan. You're gonna be facing off against a Fed Aurelia, and this is risky. 2 1 on our scoreboard here, match point. So Archangel really does not want Emperor to scale up. Yeah, pero okay to. At least ngayon, ang problema na harapin lang ng Archangel ay yung 3 0 na kaisa nila. Already Ginsu's Rage Blade completed. So if a fight does break out, alam natin na sobran laki ng DPS na kaing iba to ng ED carry ng Barsi Esports kapag nga lumabas yun. So at least for Archangel, yun lang yung problema na hinaharap nila. So. BE with, I mean, Archangel, they know the problem, right? They, they solved it, they faced it. So BE now is facing their own problems here. Really could not let Emperor scale up. So I think this is going to be a tight spot. Because Archangel, they want to go by group because of the free knockoff from the Zack or from the Wokong. And note that Dunsa Wokong, guys, uh, does have the clone. Make invisibility test. So oh, could be a surprise. It could be a surprise that Big Lang made Wukong and Cyclo for a free knockout. Yeah, and now you think that it's a bit of pace of the game, right, Vulcan? What happened here is that they're afraid to get a liar here in the mid lane because he knows that from all angles, from all sides, he can get a win from either Zac or Wukong. And then he's going to pass to Trevor and he's going to get a win. I mean, if the Wukong fails, if the Zac fails, they always have, well, the Nami for the title wave. So a lot of ways to make up for missed opportunities, but... Hopefully for Archangel, they do go in, guys. They do go in, knowing that they can pile up against me. Okay, I think alam nila kung nasan si Brox dito, but oh, ito na! Oh, sayang. If that connects to the Kaisa with a free knock up there, going in for the flash. EQ combo does not connect onto Liar, forcing out his own flash. So, I guess Trevor is pretty much happy with that. Liar, get used to summer spell. Oh, nagamit niya yung flash dito. Ngayon, mas delikado na siya kasi kaya-kaya siya yung lapitan ni Ivalice dito. They're really going for Liar. Flashing in there, EQ combo in the air. Last prep plus Tsunami for the triple lockdown. Ivalice will take it on Liar. Here comes up to zero for the slow. Gets cancelled by the cycle. Now going on to the Aurelia Emperor. Does get the magic, does get the knockup onto the Nunu. He does flash over. Oh, boy pa siya. That's going to be a stun connecting onto the clone. But Ivalice does survive. Here you go for it. Flash in. Combo there. He does have the red buff going now on to the Nunu. Will be picking up the kill. One more shot. Yes, Lando gets the kill there. But we're seeing Shana backing away. But Rox will smite. Kill this Karma. And wrapping things up here. Cell division being blocked by a BE. Okay, kanino kaya pupunta ng kill? Mas maganda na kay Lando yan. Tama na. Bigay nila yung kill on to kay Lando. I think shot down gold as well. Kasi merong streaks yun. Limang daan yun nakuha na gold. Ni Lando. That's massive for the ore. And mas mahirapan na ngayon yung Archangel na basagin yung tank na yan. Pero tignan mo kung paano nagsimula lahat yun. After ng earlier engage, nalapitan ni Trevor si Lar, he burned the flash. Pagkatapos nun, inulit lang nila. Sobrang persistent nila na mahuli lang yung Kaisa. And it did pan out well for him. Nahuli nga nila si Lar, napatay nila. Pero ang dami nilang binuos dun. Nung nag-extend yung fight, nakapag-reset ng dashes si Emperor. And he was able to dish out enough damage para at least matrade yung kills. Mm -hmm. So in the end, the kill score is 8-8. But as you said, the gold being focused on. We see a 3k gold lead on the side of BE. Let's look at the scoreboard here. Wow, 3 1 1 on the Kaisa. Plus, Jung Sakil Kai Orange really giving a righteous glory. Oh, they're going for more team fights. I mean, if Archangel's going for more team fights, let's match it. Let's get a righteous glory for ourselves. Yeah, but, 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 sila atras dito lahabat sa Archangel. Eh, kung kaya naman nila, kung confident naman sila, bakit di natin lalabana. And then, tignan mo, bowing bowi si Emperor no fight na yun. Pag, di ba bagoin kina camp siya, wala pa siyang kill. Yeah, I think he actually picked up two. During that fight, so medyo nakabawi nitong Irelia. Inaantay pa natin mabuo yung Trinity Force siya. Pero that's a massive power spike for Emperor's Irelia kapag nahanap na niya yun. Mm -hmm. Trinity Force, then a Titanic Hydra would be nice for some defensive stats. So that's gonna be the condition for Emperor. He has to wait things out to get those four items. But for Archangel, knowing that enables sila yung Yasuo, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And now the Ocean Drake will spawn in. Seven seconds. Ngayon, itong Ocean Drake na to, I think in the long run, it doesn't exactly give Archangel that much value. What this does do is it baits in Barsi Esports para lumaban. Kung ayaw i-give up ng BE, itong objective na to, dapat labanan nila. 
itong Archangel. Ngayon, tingnan mo sa nakapwesto. Si Rox siya kasi Ivalice. Outside oh, no. of vision. Trying to get attacked. Invisibility here with a Cyclone on to the members. Two members were knocked into the air, but it would not go for the last breath. Look at Trevor. He's lagging behind. Could not re-engage with the last breath. Because Lando is behind him. Trevor is low. He gets the last breath. Teleports back in, gets the shield, but still gets taken down by the members of being It looks like Zendo does get over that wall. He does survive. Lando goes in for the flash, going out to Zendo. Quite low. Zack is there to stop for the engage as Zendo is really the target for Ooh. PD. Does get away for the snowball. Does connect onto the edge roll. Looks like Venus will be wrapping up here, and the Zack will be the only one to escape from that flash. Yeah, tekita mo hindi ba? Arc Engine gumusto sa laban yun. Kaso, Parsi is where they turned it around. Lando did so much work. In that fight, di ko nakita kung saan binato ni Trevor yung wind wall niya. Pero yung call of the forge god ni Lando was able to deal enough crowd control and cause enough chaos dun sa laban. And that's why Barsi Eastwood ultimately won out. Medyo minalas nga lang sila in the end. Na knock up si Liar. That's why tumagal pa yung boy ni Trevor kasi nakapag-ult siya. Oh, wow. um, questionable engage coming from Rox. He was trying to defend the tower. But in the end, does cost him his life and a free kill for BE. Hindi mo mapapansin na ganun kalaki yung damage na kayang ibato ni Earn mo. Minsan magulat ka na lang kahit tank ka pa, mamamatay ka lang. Pero ito, tingnan natin yung replay ng fight na to. Archangel yung gumusto sa laban na to. Pero after yung initial engage, yung maganda yung cyclone eh. Tumama parehas kay Emperor at kay Venus. Pero Trevor was not in range. Miscommunication to with the rest of his team. Hindi siya nag-follow up sa last breath. And Emperor was able to deal, deal the damage that he needed during this fight. He actually takes down Ivalis first. Para dun sa casualty. Now, I wonder kung ano yung nag-knock up kay Lark. Actually, the elastic slingshot channel through all that chaos. Lark gets one shot during that fight. And now, wala na yung carries. Hindi kasi nag-exit. Zenshu na nga lang. Aso, Lando and Venus are both onto him. Kahit may arcade shift ka pa, hindi ka makakatakas sa dalawang yan. Just Lando and Venus actually does do so much work during this specific fight. And I do want to point out during that clash near the first drag of the game, uh, the second, the ocean drag, the Trevor was actually getting hit by the ocean drag. So that's an added slow. Kaya, see, that's why Trevor was lagging so much behind before God was a bonus there. Okay, Arena will be bonus there as Ark. Angel will be piling up against Emperor. Wherever Emperor goes, wherever he is, Ark Angel will not let him farm up the lane and just shut him down. Oh, tagi talaga si Emperor yung napapagtripan dito ng Archangel. Palagi nilang siya yung nahuhuli nila. I think cooldown pa yung flash yun yung time na yun. Kaya wala na siyang pantakas. But still, pick-offs like this allows Archangel to get back into the game. Kailangan iwasan ni Emperor ngayon. Makikita ba natin mag-1v1 si Lando at si Trevor? Oh, wow. Baron will spawn in 80 seconds. But Lando is pretty much fed at this point. Gets the Omen to deny some crit damage coming from the Yasuo. So, immediately picks it up. A lot of focus on the AD side, so I think for BE, it may be easier for them to itemize. Not much AP damage coming in, so they do have the luxury to instantly rush maybe the Omen or other AP armor items. Oh, oh here comes. Hirap may steal to ah. Kaisa, sobrang bilis niyang ishred itong battle to. Lulu, meron kang consume, meron kang smite. Tinatanong ngayon ng BE kung gusto ba lumaban ng Archangel, but I think they just do enough para pigilan sila doon. They just spot out the karma after the person just connects. So at this point, Art Angel are pretty much happy by denying the blue, uh, rather the Baron buff. But on the blue side, Lando was trying to take away the blue buff from Zancho. I he, think kaya niya eh. Kung gusto talaga niya may paraan yan, kasi iwan muna niya yung blue buff. Ayaw na niya. He doesn't want to go anything risky here. As I think for Zancho, he does take away the blue buff. For Art Angel though, close call. What happened? Because you can see you and Gresham Galingay Barsi. They have the Kaiser. They're confident they can shred through the Baron. So Archangel has to watch out not to lose too many members. Yeah, and binanggit mo yung Kaiser ng Barsi is over here. Liar actually bought Nasher's Tooth and then needlessly large crowd as well. So, tinanong natin kanina bago mag start yung game. Anong build kaya yung pupuntahan ni Liar dito? Mo ang AP Kaiser yung napili niya. And kung iisipin mo. Irelia in the mid lane, not that much magic damage. So, medyo nag even out then in terms of kung anong classing damage yung naibabato nila. So, I'm not gonna criticize the build. It is okay sa situation na to. Mm -mm. And knowing how Arch the members of Archangel are going for, let's say, a lot of team fights, and we know that when it comes to BE, they can afford it because they have the Nunu, they have the Orn, grabbing slow, some powerful CC there. But... 
but we know that when it comes when it comes to Archangel, they have to be very careful when it comes to those commitments. Ayun nga eh, di ba sinabi natin gusto makipaglaban nitong Archangel kapag nag-level 6 na sila? Since natalo sila nung mga ilang team fights na recent lang, nag-hesitate na sila eh. Nahihiyan na sila pumasok dito. And for me, I don't think na pwede sila mag-hesitate dito. Pipick kayo ng team fight ko, you need to look for oh. fights. Hanapin nyo yung windows na kaya nyo mag-engage laban sa bar si Esports. Close call for Zencho dun sa bot lane. So, I really was going for the stun. They didn't connect to anything. But now... When it comes to Baron, and all the BE members are getting clumped up, that's just a free knockoff for a Archangel to go for. Yun nga, yun talaga yung inaabang ang kuya yung Baron. But I feel like medyo kulang sa damage si Trevor, kasi yung nga si Kikit and the Phantom Dance. So here comes, charging up for the shot. Alright, we'll not submit anymore. That will be more of a warning shot coming from Archangel. Yeah, pinapressure ngayon ni Emperor, tsaka ni Lando yung bot lane ng Archangel. So far, wala pang sumasagot dito sa Irelia at sa Ori na bumabasag dyan sa bot lane. Tama, nag-aabang lang si Emperor dito eh. Mm. Kaya niyang i-1v1 si Ivalis dito. Oh, that's gonna be the clone to deny some damage there. Going in for a shot on their tower. Oh, bad call by Emperor. Ivalis with a free kill. Getting that sweet bug. Okay, alam mo na sinabi kong kaya niyang i-1v1. Joke lang. Hindi niya kaya niyang i-1v1 under tower. Yung Wukong na yun. A bit too over aggressive by Ember. Hindi niya nirespeto yung damage siya kaya yung bato, di ba? Binato yung invisibility. The Procking Dust Blade. So much burst. Ninja tabi lang yung armor item na hawak mo kay Irelia. It really doesn't matter if you're gonna eat that much damage laban yung sa Wukong. Mm -hmm. So, the tower dive has to be very careful because I think for Ember, he felt confident going in because he has the Trinity Force and he feels, and that's one of the items that Irelia needs. But at this point in the game, he really has to respect the dust play and ghost played by the Wokong. So when he was outside, when he was invisible, refreshes the dust play. That's why Midge nagulat si Emperor Toon sa tower. Alam mo, Vulcan, I thought na magiging hype ka pag nakita mo nangyari sa Wokong. Oh, syempre, I was, I was. For me, it was kind of expecting. Um, ah, so just... alam mo na na ganun yung mangyayari nung nag-face check si, ano, si Ivalis? Oh, because oh, oh, he actually procked the dust play twice in that phrase. Kasi one, one, one time he was shown and another time when he was invisible. And again, under the tower. So, tunay yeah. na Wokong main. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, right. yeah, I've been using it a lot, but here it comes here. Knock him onto the orange. Oh! Shot down onto the karma. They won't commit towards it. Portrait is coming in hot. Oh, flash! And connects to the Wukong and to the Nam. Here it comes. The wave is in dead. See damage. As the focus here. Ooh! Ooh! Three man last breath setting up for Trevor. He gets a double kill, but looks like the members of BE Liar. just got another number. But Liar is still alive. Penta? Oh my god, look at Rock splitting things up here. But in the end, Emperor will be the last one standing. Napakalaki nung team fight. Akala ko makakakuha na ng Penta kayo si Liar. Actually, he gets three for his team. Si Emperor na yung tumapos ng fight na yun. It's a four for five ace in favor of Barsi Esports. Grabe yung knockup dun. Kaso the turnaround from Barsi is sobrang ganda nung counter-attack nila after that game. May kita yung replay dito. So it starts off, gusto nilang huliin si Lando dito. Kaso nag-hesitate na naman sila eh. Ayaw nilang ibuhos lahat dito, dito sa tank. At tama naman eh. Antayin nilang mag-burn muna ito na ganito. Look here. Since mag-engage, yung try niya iligtas si Venus, magka-clump up yung members ng Barsi Esports. And it allows the Wukong to land this massive knockoff onto three members. It's maganda yung follow-up. This is a great follow-up, but the flashes away. Liar with the great flash and the use of Killer Instinct for that extra shielding. This is, ang laki ng shield na nakuha niya just from his ultimate. And ang laki din yung DPS na ibato ni Liar. Pabalik dito sa Archangel. And I do want to point out the members of Archangel, they were disarmed because of the Vanguard's edge. So, Grabe yung Clash and Ashley. still looks like BE. They are the ones who came out on top. Yeah, pero after the fight na yun, walang objective na kuha either team. It's just a bunch of kills adding more gold to both their pockets. Oh, that's great. I mean, that's would be the start for maybe ramping out some damage because looking at this, look, I'm going full this oh, time. We will go for the Clash here. Okay. That Interesting was interaction there with the blast cone. Yeah, actually, I was gonna point it out, but yeah, that was actually interesting. That was actually interesting. That was actually interesting because for Archangel, they were going for a clash, but in the end, they did overstep. 
Yeah, ngayon, alam ko, titignan na ng pareha sa team ay itong Baron buff na to eh. After fights like that, baro na talaga yung titignan yun because whoever wins another team fight, sobrang dali nung take nila sa Baron. Both teams have enough items to kill that thing very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. 438 on this Orn with the Righteous Glory and a Gauntlet. Extra armor there. Oh, they're focusing on to the Nunu. This is Arthur Nunu. They won't use Alaska's arm bad jungles. They're really Not trying to chunk down. Speed is going down to Lyra. What a decisive last pass coming from Driver to immediately burst down Lyra. But in the end, Zenjo will be the one to pick that up. Two members are down. The jungler, Nunu is gone. Especially Lyra. The Kai'Sa. Now, for Archangel, they're aiming for the Baron. Nangangamoy game 5 na to Vulcan. Napakaganda nung engage niya. Nahuli na naman si Venus. Wala pa rin flash. After that previous team fight, nahanap din nila yung knock-up onto Liar. Sobrang ganda nung tornado na pinatin ni Trevor. He gets the last breath onto the key target na kailangan niyang mahuli. Just clutch plays. Galing dito sa Archangel. Gives them the Baron. Na-premyohan sila nito. Ngayon, paano nila gagamitin itong Baron buff na to? Oh, they can start making some rooms. Just they can start going for pressures all throughout the lanes because they have a very easy clear thanks to the Yasuo with the last time the game 5 talaga to so we'll see though with the Baron buff in the hands of Archangel we'll see if they will force a game 5 but for PE Barcy Esports now being a match point can they afford a game 5 because Exhaustion can sit into our players here in our best of 5 series ayun nga tignan natin makakahanap ba ng turn around dito ang Barcy Esports and looking at the itemization on the Yasuo side, Guardian Angel and another pickup on the BF Sword. So, the yung that first is siguro. Oh, yung kanina medyo lacking damage si Yasuo. Pero for now, I think that's okay. I mean, you get that much AD, that's enough. You get free armor penetration passive. That's good for Archangel to go for good fights. But Lyra can easily burst down Trevor. Who's out of that? Ayun nga, ngayon, ito na nga, makikita natin, ginagamit na ng Archangel itong Baron na to. They're sending majority of their members here. So the massive threat from Archangel ay yung flanks galing from the Wukong and the Zack. Kapag nakahanap sila ng knock-up onto anyone Here from Barry's Esports, tuloy-tuloy lang yan, nababagsak. Castle Call of the Forge God gets denied by the wind wall. Lando does not have to engage he wants. Rox is going for the slot. Here it comes. He does not oh. charge up in time. Glory has been popped by Lando. But the members of PE, they don't want to come in. Here it comes onto Lando. He does dash away. Zencho and... Trevor going for the clear. Note that Trevor has the Guardian Angel, so may second life shot. Channeling in again. Nagahanap talaga na laban dito. Oh, ito na! Oh, it's only onto the tank. They're not going for it hard. Picking up the Mandarin. Picking up Lando. Here comes the knockup. On to the Karma. Followed by the Cyclone from Ivalis. They're going for the dive. Liar. But Liar does flash away. Rocks flash away. The Goops goes in. Oh, Sire. Liar. He went for two-man knockup there. But in the end, Liar does kite the members of Archangel. Chupaka here. Look at Trevor going into Liar. One more hit there. But no. Gets denied by the Quadra. Apat na yung napatay nila. Kaya ba niyang hanapin si Zencho dito para sa panglimang kill? At sinabi natin, mahanap pa ng Barcy Esports yung teamfight para balik na rin tong game na to. Doon na hanap nila. Pinilit ng Archangel na hanapin yung fight laban sa Barcy Esports. Kaso, ang ganda nung pag-kiteback ng Barcy Esports. Makakakita talaga tayo ng replay nung laban na yun. I mean, I gotta say for it, guys. Wow! Let's look at the replay what happened. Pinipilit ng Archangel na lumaban dito eh. Kaso kapag lahat ng knock-up nyo, doon lang sa tanks, tatama, hindi pipidutin ni Trevor yung R niya. Kailangan dun sa team yun. Kailangan sa backline mo patamaan yung knock-up na yun eh. Sobrang disjointed tong fight na to. So it's evil is, yung karma lang yung naultihan ni Trevor. He doesn't get onto Liar. And Liar does so much work kiting back here. Nothing lands onto that Kai'Sa. Sobrang laki yung damage na binabato niya. He gets the quadruple after this. What a turnaround by Barcy Esports. I mean, a double, then a triple, then a quadra. This is Archangel really overstepping their dive. And as Shisto said, the key knockoff is connecting towards the tanks to the support. They really wanted to go for Liar first. That's the target for Archangel. And now maybe a second attempt in the bottom lane for Archangel. Alam mo, I would have loved to see a pentakill there for Liar. Kaso, tumakbo na si Zenshi. Ayaw na niya ipabigay yung panglimang kill. Pero yun nga, Archangel needs to land, needs to find that engage dito kay Liar. Pero tignan mo yung item na binili niyo, Zonya's Hourglass on an AD carry, oh on a Kai'Sa. 
I mean, AP build all the way, and not just that, this gives Trevor and other members of All Asia a really, really hard time timing their knockoffs because, let's face it, Lyra just pop the stasis and impion vulnerable to damage and that will be enough time for Liar to kite the members of Archangel. The feeling ko hindi mo na pwedeng tawagin AD carry si Liar at this point because eh. AP na yung items niya, Ginsu's lang yung AD item so I don't think pwedeng na siya mag-identify bilang isang AD carry. I mean for items AD, yeah, as just said 32 minutes into this game here, Barsi Esports with uh, AD carry Kaisa stacking up this Fifth item looks like we're gonna be seeing the sixth item. I wonder what it is. Maybe another AP item. Um, Guardian Angel, siguro. Siguro. I mean, he the, would like Guardian Angel. Kung gusto pa niya ng konting AP hextech, Gunblade could be an option. Jen sa Kaisa mm. for a bit more sustain and safety. But on to Yasuo Trevor. He did pick up the Guardian Angel and the BFR. Still not yet finalizing what BFR that may be. At least he did pick up the thread so that he can at least survive some AP damage. Yeah, it's already done. They're going for Noon Noon. Lost it to the air. Lost the touch coming in there. And that's going to be the Vanguard and connecting all the members. But the Tidal Wave is there. Full of this again. Oh, look at Emperor going for a tower. Looking for that huge dive. He did get taken down. He has the Guardian Angel. Oh my oh. god. Did you see the damage coming from Liar? Nakita mo rin yung dashes, yung disgusting na mobility na kaya ang gawin ng Irelia. Emperor did so much work for them. Kahit na yung Nami lang yung bumagsak. Key member pa rin yan ng Arcade. Ngayon, numbers advantage. Itong Barsi Esports, lima laban oh. sa apat. Hindi sila matatakot na pumabati dito. Emperor is not in the air. Two members in the air. But the members of our Angel are pincer against PA. Look, that line doing si so much damage. And in the snipe by the, by the Irelia. Wow. That is going to be the wrap up here. That is the ace. And I think for BE, they will wrap up the Specify series as fast as they can. Only the Nami remains. Death timers are really, really long for the other members. Yeah, mo ama ka pag good night na tayo. Hindi na pa abutin ng Barsi Esports ito best of five na to dyan sa game five na. Hindi na tutuktog yung Silver Skip. Tatapusi na nito. Papasagi na nila yung Nexus. And Axis is exposed. And for Barsi Esports. Congratulations to you guys as they will move on to the next stage and as for our angel looks like they'll be kicked down towards the lower bracket in a double elimination format. Wow. GG. But GG well played to both teams so ooh, what a game it was because uh, we were expecting a lot of things from our angel especially the dream clash. I mean the Yasuo the knock and everything but we eh. did see it but in the end Grave is liar on his on the Kaiser. I mean, this is this is seems to say that there is a reason why Kaiser is sometimes banned out or traded off against something else. Yeah, and going back para I break down yung game na yun, I think yung isang fight in the bot lane really turned it around for Barsi Esports because Archangel lang nagko control ng tempo ng game na yun. Kaso napilit nila yung dive na yun, di ba? Walang knockup na tumama dun sa Kaiser during that entire fight. So hindi na naabutan yung pinaka threatening na member ng Barsi Esports ngayon. Gaya na sinabi mo, Vulcan, babagsak sa lower bracket itong Archangel. And magkakaroon sila ng rematch laban sa IP2. So may chance silang bumawi laban doon sa tumalo sa... Ay, natalo. May chance bumawi yung IP2 mm. sa tumalo sa kanila. Okay, so congratulations to BE. So this will be uh, Barsi Esports winning their spot and now moving on to the next stage for the National Qualifiers. Now, tomorrow on June 2 at 3 p.m., Archangel versus Imperium Pro Team for our stream tomorrow. So guys, the patapos yung journey ng Archangel as they will move on and we will stream that match on June 2 at 3 p.m. Yeah, bukas lang. Bukas lang ang alas 3. So, ayun nga guys, kung nanonood kayo, salamat. If you stuck around since the start your stream, thank you for watching. Okay, so guys, I think this is going to be Vulcan and, uh, Vulcan and Chisto. My name is Vulcan signing off. So, Thank you so much to the viewers tuning in and we hope to see you tomorrow for the Globe Congress Manila Promotionals. Good night, everyone. Oh, side oh. of vision, trying to get that back. Invisibility in here with a cyclone on to the members. Two members were knocked into the air, but he could not go for the last press. Look at Trevor, he's lagging behind. Could not re-engage with the last press. The Slando is behind him. Trevor is low. He gets the last press. Teleports back in, gets the shield, but still gets taken down by the members of the E. Low six, then he does get over. That one, he does survive. Lando goes in for the flash, going out to Sancho. Quite low. Zack is there to stop for the engage, as Sancho is really the target for the Does get away for the snowball, does get it up to the Ezreal. Looks like Venus will be wrapping up here, and it's Zack.
will be the only one to escape from that flash. Yeah, to get that way to the heart. Fortunate. Fortunate is coming in hot. Oh, flash. It connects to the Wukong and to the Nam. Here it comes. The wave is in Zed. Three damage. As the focus here. Two. Three man last breath. Setting up for Trevor. He gets a double kill, but looks like the members of P. Denier. Just got another number. But Lyra is still alive. Penta. Oh, my God. Look at Rock spinning things up here. But in the end. Emperor will be the last one standing. Napaka laki ng team fight. Ito. Akala ko makakakuha na ng penta kayo si Lyre. Dito. So, no, no, they won't yes. use the last one on that channel. They're really Do trying not. to chunk down Venus. Going down to Lyre. One of the sides of last one coming from Drabber to immediately burst down. Nagahanap talaga ng laban dito. Oh, ito na. Oh, it's only up to the cat. They're not going to put it hard. Picking up the Mandarin, picking up Lando. Here comes the knockup. On to the Karma, followed by the side throw from Ivalet. They're going for the dive, but Nair does flash away. Rock flash away, the Koops goes in. Oh, side. He went for two-man knockup there, but Indian Liar just tied the members up on Angel. Super good here. Look at Trevor going after Liar. One more hit there, but no. Gets denied by the Quadra. Apatay na pati nila. Kaya ba niya hanapin si Zenshu dito para sa panglimang kilit? Sinabi na at mahanap pa ng bars there. Going for a new moon. Muscle to the air. And Muscle Jack coming in there. And that's going to be the Vanguard. And connecting with the members. But that's how the way is there. Follow this again. Oh, look at Emperor going for an hour. Looking for that huge dive. He did getting it out. He has the Guardian Angel. Oh my oh. god. Did you see the damage coming from Liar? Nakita mo rin yung dashes, yung disgusting na mobility na kaya ang gawin ng Irelli. Di ba laban sa apat, hindi sila matatakot na pumabati dito. Emperor is long into the air, two members in the air, but the members of Archangel are pincer again, PA! Look, that line is si so much damage, and in the snipe by the, by the Irelia, wow! That is going to be in a wrap up here, that is the ace, and I think for PE, they will wrap up the specify series as fast as they can. Only the Nami remains. Death damage are really, really long for the other members. Yeah, mukhang makakapag good night na tayo. Hindi na paaabutin ng bar si Esports itong best of five na ito dyan sa game five na. Hindi na tutugtog yung silver save. Tatapusin na nila ito. Papasagi na nila yung Nexus. And Nexus is exposed and for bar si Esports. Congratulations to you guys as they will move on to the next stage and as for our Angel. Looks like they'll be kicked down towards the lower bracket in a double elimination format. Invincible.